Hi, I am Jade, the Tiny Town Association's AI presenter. This is a case study in how we can meet rural Ontario's housing needs. We look at how factory-built, Ontario Building Code-compliant tiny homes can help meet the current and projected housing needs in rural centres across the province. After our presentation to the 2023 Rural and Remote Housing and Homelessness Symposium, we realize we view things differently than others. We collect all available data to build a mathematical model, then design a plan to address a challenge. By starting with the identified housing needs, incorporating the current solutions, and adding a new component with a variable output, we are able to propose a real-world solution and offer to implement it. Let's set the stage by looking at housing in Ontario. We have limited this study to cities, towns, and hamlets with a population under 50,000. We assume that all production by large-scale developers will be concentrated in the larger city centres, which leaves rural Ontario with no way to meet its growing housing needs. 67.1% of the family structure across the province is made up of three people or less. Yet, only 37% of housing is one- and two-bedroom units, which could affordably meet the needs of the majority. Finally, a major development challenge is that rural Ontario's population is almost 3 million people, living in 463 cities, towns, and hamlets spread across 415,000 square miles. Here is how we see the Ontario Housing Needs Timeline. These key events have prepared the stage for tiny home communities in rural Ontario. In 2017 the federal government launched the National Housing Strategy to address Canada's growing housing needs. By 2020, Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation took over administering the multi-billion dollar National Housing Strategy with the goal. By 2030, everyone in Canada has a home that they can afford and meets their needs. In 2022, the Ontario Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing publicly announced that we need 1.5 million homes by 2032 to meet the needs of Ontario. As housing needs only exists where there are people, we can calculate needs as a function of the population. Tiny homes can supplement the traditional housing industry, meeting the needs of much of the population, and supporting rural Ontario's single home preference. A plan that combines the established traditional home building industry with factory-built tiny homes could meet the stated housing needs. How can we estimate housing's needs and distribution? How do we determine where 1.5 million new units will go? Housing need, in its simplest form, is a function of population. While location-specific variables will come into play, it is expected that overall, this calculation will provide an accurate needs distribution for every location in the province. Here's the math. 1.5 million homes needed, divided by 16.9 million, the approximate population of Ontario, equals a housing needs factor of 8.89%, or about 249,000 units for rural Ontario. Using this factor we can calculate the need for our case study. By multiplying the municipal population of 9,465, by the housing needs factor of 8.89%, we get a total of 841 units. This is the housing needs for Leeds and the Thousand Islands for 2032. We can make a plan to add tiny homes to the traditional home building production and meet the needs of rural Ontario's 463 cities, towns, and hamlets. We expect that the rapid housing production of larger developers will be concentrated in big cities so, enacting no plan will leave rural Ontario's shortage worsening. The Municipality of Leeds and the Thousand Islands, a case study. As previously calculated, based on a population of 9,465 people, using the 8.89% housing needs factor, we have determined the housing need to be 841 units over the 10-year period. Deducting the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation reported housing completions for 2022, again distributed by population, we are left with a need of 801 units. If traditional home builders can maintain their 2022 production of 40 units per year, they would add 363 units. A tiny home factory can produce up to 52 homes per year, so it could produce the additional 438 units. A total of 89 units per year is needed to meet the regional goal by 2032. We are in a housing crisis, and the issue compounds by the moment. 
We have produced charts for the rest of rural Ontario. Some locations with larger populations will require multiple production shifts or multiple factories to be able to supplement what traditional builders produce. Reach out to us for copies. Even though we see large developers concentrating their rapid housing production on larger cities, we do not expect that these cities will attain their projected housing needs. With the expansion of high-speed internet across the province, and the lessons learned through remote working during COVID, we anticipate that much of the unfilled housing need from the cities will spill over into rural Ontario, exasperating the housing crisis. These projections are based on launching this plan in 2023, meeting these housing needs is much like retirement investing. The sooner you start, the less investment you need as you go. The later you start, the higher the cost. A big concern of a wait-and-see approach is the supplier network's ability to keep up with home manufacturing demand. COVID has already shown how fragile supply chains can be, and to meet Thesis' goals, we are going to need a lot of everything that goes into a home. A common question that is used to stall development is, who would want to live in a tiny home versus a condo, townhouse, or single-family home? First of all, those options don't exist and for the majority of people, the minimum wage earners, and people on a fixed income, those options won't become available. The question should be, would you live in a tiny home or stay where you are now? Let's consider the impacts of inaction. The problem doesn't go away, the solution just becomes more difficult. In the case study, Starting this plan in 2023 requires the addition of 89 units per year to meet the target by 2032, assuming traditional building maintains the same output. Launching in 2024 increases the annual production need to 95 units. Launching in 2025 under the same conditions increases the annual requirement to 103 units, in the Leeds and Thousand Islands case study. The charts below show the impact across all rural Ontario. Starting in 2023, we would need to build a total of 27,667 units per year. Starting in 2024 increases the number of units needed to 29,560, an increase of 6.8% annually. Delaying until 2025 pushes the need to 31,993 units per year, an increase of 15.6% annually. Would we be able to achieve production levels required to develop affordable housing for rural Ontario if a plan is started in 2024 or 2025? It's hard to say, as this would put a big strain on our current supply stream in addition to requiring a larger workforce, larger facilities, and potentially more automation. The cost to the government and to the home buyers will be negatively impacted. Thank you for allowing us to share our tiny home community vision with you. 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years is an ambitious goal, but a necessary one if we are to move closer to providing housing for the people of Ontario. 262,000 new homes in rural Ontario is a complex challenge, but to address the expected needs and migration out of the large cities, rural Ontario needs to prepare now, and options are limited. If you would like more information on our initiatives, would like to invest in a manufacturing facility, are a municipality, city, town, or hamlet looking for affordable housing options, or are looking to partner on a community development, visit our website, or reach out to us directly. Thank you.